In this video, we're going to show you how to watch movies and TV shows. So what you want to do, you want to go under videos and go to add-ons and click it. Now, the main add-on that people use to watch movies and shows is one channel. When you first hit one channel, it's going to do a countdown. I'm going to speed it up in this video so we don't have to wait the whole seconds. But just let it count down. After it does the countdown, I'll go to this screen. Just press back. And I either press backspace or delete on your keyboard to get rid of the screen. That's what back is. Okay. Now, when you're in one channel, uh, you have movies or TV shows. Let's check out the movie section first. Okay. When you hit movies, there's all these different options. The only main ones that you need, even though all of them work, the main ones that you use are featured and search. Featured will give you the newest to oldest movies in the list. Let's just click it. and It'll take a second to load because uh, all the newest movies are loaded. So if you look, here's the newest movies from newest to oldest. And if you go down the list, it just goes on and on. And then at the bottom, you can click next page, next page, and go all the way back to the oldest movies. Okay, and this list is updated just about every day. Every day there's a new movie added. And let's click on one, for example, like The Green Inferno. Okay, uh, now when I click the movie, you see all these different links come up. Um, on the left, it tells you the quality of the movie. See, it says DVD. That means it's going to be clear. And uh, there's, let's just try a random link. And that easily, we're watching a movie. Okay. Now, let's click it one more time. There's so many uh, different links in here because sometimes a link might not work, or sometimes a link might be slower than another movie. So, in that case, just uh, try a different link. Stop the movie and try a different link, okay? All right. Uh, one cool trick, if you go on top of any movie and press the letter C on your keyboard, you can go down here to where it says add to favorites and uh, actually add the movie to your favorites. See that? Let's try that. Add to favorites. See the bottom? Add it to favorites. And if I go back, it'll actually be in the favorite section now. See that? Green Inferno. And same thing, press C and you can remove it from your favorites as well. Okay. I want to show you one more thing in featured. Uh, there's three different versions of picture quality in here. Like if you click the Martian, see how instead of DVD on the left it says TS? That means it's going to be uh, not as clear. Some will say TS, and the third one, sometimes it may say CAM. I try to never watch the CAM ones because usually they're not that clear, but sometimes the TS ones are clear enough for you to be able to watch them. See, that's still pretty clear. Okay. Now, besides feature, uh, you can also check out the search section. So let's click search. And uh, let's uh, search for an older movie like um, Batman. And if I put in a random word like Batman, all I did was type it in and press done on the screen or press enter on your keyboard. And uh, it's actually going to search for all the Batman movies it could find. That means the original Batman. Uh, Batman Returns, Dark Knight Rises, anything with Batman, and even cartoon Batman movies. Can you see that? Can you see that? It brought up everything, every movie that says Batman on it. See that from the cartoon Batman movies to the actual Batman movies, old ones, new ones. Let's just click a random like on like Batman Returns. You guys should be able to find just about any movie that you desire in the search. So search is a real good option. See that easily Batman's playing and well, you see this menu over here. Uh, I'm using the mouse cursor. What's great is that when you're playing a movie or a TV show, you could point to anywhere on the timeline right there and skip to where you want in the movie. So that's real cool. Okay. Now let's try the TV show section. And uh, let's just go to search and put in, for example, The Walking Dead. Now what's cool about the TV show section is that 
when you click a TV show, it's going to bring you every season, every episode of that show. So, for example, let's click season six, and uh, let's just click on the first episode because there's only one episode in season six. The same thing, you just click it. That easily explains. And of course, you also would want to add any TV shows to your favorite since you're probably going to be going back to it over and over. And uh, each section, the movie section and the TV show section, has their own favorite section. So if you save a movie to favorites, it's going to be actually in the movie section favorites. And if you save the TV show to favorites, it's going to be in the TV show favorites. Okay. Now, um, there are. There are also a few more movie and TV show add-ons that are good. Genesis is another one people use. It works pretty much the same way. I just go to movies and go to like latest movies and pick your movie. Okay, that's it. And um, that's it. Please check out our other videos below. And um, thank you.